Now make sure that you watch all the previous training videos on themes so you have an idea what I'm talking about here. Now the basics are, every time you create a new workbook, the default font is going to be body font, which automatically allows you to use the themes feature right off the bat. And that means that when you come up here and click on the page layout tab, you go to the themes group and you want to change the font throughout the entire workbook, you can click on the themes fonts drop down arrow and choose anything that's listed here. Of course, if it's nothing that you like here, you can always customize it as we learned in the previous training video. Now, having said that, I don't use theme fonts. So every time I create a new workbook, the font that I use is Arial and it's not going to be part of a theme. So how do I go ahead and customize that? I come up here and click on the File tab, go backstage down to Options, General selected by default, and I change to use this as the default font from up here, Body, to Arial. And like I said, the body font is the default font type for all new workbooks, unless you come back here like I did and set it to Arial. So every time I go File to New, and create a new workbook, you can see that Arial, when I click on the drop down arrow, you can see at the bottom of the list it's selected. When you scroll up to the top, it's not part of a theme font. Let me go ahead and close out of that. Otherwise, if you're going to use themes, then this isn't going to be a big deal. But if you want a mixture of it, like I have here, notice that in the upper database, when I select any cell within it, and I come up here on the Home tab, Arial is selected, and you can see down at the bottom, it doesn't have body next to it. You can scroll up to the top, you can see it's not a theme font. And when I select a cell down below in this database, it's Calibri. Now make sure that it's part of a theme font, because Calibri may not be. If you mess around with it, you can still click on the drop down arrow and choose it down below here outside of the theme font, but it is, because like I say, when I click on the drop down arrow, you can see that it's highlighted in green. So when I come over here to the page layout tab, and I'm talking about fonts only, not the other elements, just the fonts. When I click on the drop down arrow, notice that bottom database there, the second one that when I hover over any one of these other types of themes here, it updates that, but it doesn't update the database up top in the pretty blue. So now it's in Corbel or Candera. Ooh, that sounds fun. Select that. So when I have it selected here, come up here on the home tab, Candera. So you can have a mixture and say, okay, if I want to update this range here in a single click, make sure that it's set to a body font. If I want to update this range here, then I can't use a font outside of the uh, body font. I have to come up here, click on the drop down arrow, and say you're going to be whatever the current body font is, and that's Candera. See, now I can go ahead and click on the page layout tab, choose the fonts, and everything gets updated, well, as far as the fonts go. Let me go ahead and undo that so it's back to Arial. So you can mix this if you want. It's just how do you want to start off your workbook? Do you want to start off where everything is easily updated in a single click with uh, theme fonts? You know, by going backstage and making sure it says body font for the default font that you're going to be using? Or do you want to do it like I did? Just go ahead and say the default font's going to be Arial, not a body font. And then just come in here and select a range and then come up here on the Home tab and choose, scroll up to the top that as the body and then you know come on to worksheet 2 choose a range and choose that as Candera maybe worksheet 3 of course the rest are in Candera here so it's updating the entire workbook it's just this range right here that I converted to something outside of the uh, body font thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.